When Sky Was Our Calendar, Sacred Lineage Series 4. In ancient times, when people didn't have watches, clocks or apps to measure time, our Acharyas watched the sun, the moon and the stars to understand how time moved. Our sages knew that the sky was our clock. Every morning, they noticed that the sun didn't rise in the exact same place every year on the same date. Why? Because our earth wobbles very slowly as it spins like a toy top that isn't standing perfectly straight. This wobble is caused by the gravitational pull of the sun, moon and planets which causes the earth's axis to drift westward slowly over time. Modern scientists gave it a name, precision of the equinoxes or equinox drift. They in the 1800s discovered that this drift occurs at about 50.3 arc seconds per year taking around 25,772 years to complete one full circle around the zodiac, a cycle known as the great year or platonic year. But ancient India already knew this. The ancient Indian text called the Surya Siddhanta written in the 4th century CE already knew about the slow wobble. The scholars even had a name for it, Ayanamsha, which means the part of the sun's path that shifts. They calculated it to be about 54 arc seconds per year and said that one full cycle would take 25,920 years, very close to what modern science discovered much later. The magic clock called the Hindu calendar or Panchangam. Here's where they marked precisely the seasons and the eclipses year after year. The Hindu calendar system finds one of its earliest systematic formulations in the Vedanga Jyotishya traditionally attributed to Acharya Lagada around 1400 to 1200 BCE. A beautiful verse from the Surya Siddhanta goes like this. It means on the days of Vishwat, which is equinox, when the sun travels along the equatorial circle, the 12 zodiac signs called months begin. These are grouped into two sets of six months called Ayanas, Uttarayana and Dakshinayana. Back then, sages knew that the equinoxes, when day and night are equal, were the perfect markers to begin the zodiac months. In India, the calendar was no ordinary calendar. It was a lunisolar calendar. That means it followed both the moon and the sun to track time. Here's how it worked. The moon gave the months, the sun helped fix the seasons. And when the moon year and the sun year didn't match, they added a secret bonus month called Adhikamasa, a leap month. It was and still is called the Panchanga because it has five parts which includes Titi, the lunar day, Vara, the weekday, Nakshatra, the constellation the moon is in, Yoga, the combination of sun and moon positions and Karana, half of a Titi. Panchanga helps people to know when festivals, harvests and rituals should happen even without modern science or telescopes. What we call facts, they called cosmic order. These insights waited centuries to be rediscovered and formalized by modern physics. References Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share for more videos.